Hey there, I'm Josh and this is Chuck. Howdy. And we're here to equip you so that you can get in and out of the store as quickly as possible without spending more money than you intend to because we care about you and your family. Yeah, well, what they want to do, that's very kind, by the way. Thanks. What they want to do is they want to slow you down and keep you in there longer. Yeah. So we have a few tips to speed you up and get you out of there quicker. Yep. And the first one, put on some headphones, put on some upbeat music, and ditch the elevator music that they're piping through the store because they're playing that stuff just to slow you down. That's exactly right. There's actually a very um, often cited study that found that if you are subject to slow, mellow music, you'll it. spend 38% more time in a grocery store and as much as 29% more money. Yeah, but see, that's a problem for us because you and I both love Muzak. Oh, I do. I Like, I listen to it at work. Yeah. So, like, if you see me with my headphones, and I'm probably listening <laughs> to something slower than what they're playing on the loudspeakers. I got another tip for you, buddy. Okay. You want to avoid those center aisles in the middle of the store. If you want to eat healthier and you want to get out of there quicker and cheaper, you should try to stick to the outside because that's where your basic necessities are going to be your milk and your bread and yeah. your dairy and your veggies and the meat usually. Yeah. And those inner aisles is where you're gonna find a bunch of uh, expensive package garbage that's gonna kill you. Well, yeah, I mean, this is where the, the most money is to be made and lost. And if you just stick to the outer ring, yep. you will get what you need. But when you go uh, to, say, get your bread or your milk or something mm -hmm. like that, you'll notice that the grocery store has um, just, just coincidentally arrange these things as far apart in the outside ring as they could possibly be. Yeah. So you'll find, just to get out of there as fast as possible, you may need to shoot up an aisle. Sure. So when you do, you want to be selective. Like, what kind of aisle would, would you want? Try and pick an aisle that has items that you don't need. Mm -hmm. Like, if you don't have pets, shoot up the pet aisle yeah. if you want to take a shortcut. Yeah. If you don't have kids, go up the diaper aisle and ignore all the diapers and the baby bottles and things. Yep. And that allow you to get somewhere faster without being sucked in by what they want you to do, which is browsing. Right. You know? And these middle aisles are set up so that they maximize browsing. Sure. For example, one company shelled out for um, big hopscotch stickers on the floor right in front of their breakfast cereals <laughs> so that uh, parents shopping with their kids would have to hang out there for an extra couple seconds and I guess maybe check it out and grab it and throw it in there. That sounds bad. You know what's really bad? Hmm. Have you ever seen like a uh, temporary rug in the middle of a grocery aisle? Yeah. That is there to slow you down and slow your cart down <laughs> at a specific spot for an item that they want you to buy. Yeah. And they'll often like uh, change the flooring, Yeah. like maybe bumpy tiles. Uh, those unconsciously slow you down, and you'll just kind of hang out in an area more. And they want you to hang out in an area so that you'll look around. And when you look around, especially at eye level, yeah. boom, that's when you get exploited psychologically. You know what else they do? What? They take advantage of your own narcissism <laughs> by giving you mirror-like or mirrored surfaces. And it shows, you know, studies show if there's a mirror, then people are probably gonna slow down and take a look at themselves. It's true. Wow. Yeah, especially when we're not paying attention. Yeah. For example, when we're shopping for groceries. Yeah, I think uh, the advice you have too is to uh, try and not keep eye level, and if you want an item on an aisle, look at the handy little signs up above yeah. to find out what you want instead of just like a sheep going down the middle of the aisle at eye level looking at exactly what they want you to buy. Yeah, that's where you're going to be maximally exploited. Yeah. And you can't fully escape the uh, clutches of the middle aisle <laughs> just from going around the, the outer ring because no. there's such things as end caps. And end caps are set up because they know that there's people like us and now like you who know to just stick to the outer ring. And they're like, you're not gonna get away that easily. No. Look at all of these wonderful snack cakes. <laughs> you just have to basically walk like this yeah. through the grocery store. Yeah, so you wanna go in there with a plan. You wanna have a list. Uh, I think I've always heard the 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 advice that you shouldn't shop when you're hungry. Yeah, that's good advice. So don't go in there starving without a plan because you're gonna leave with a bunch of stuff you don't want or need. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, the size of the grocery cart and the actual basket, the hand basket you carry, is gonna allow you to buy more things. Well, yeah, uh, for one, like with a, with a basket, if you don't need a basket, if you're just getting one or two things, just carry them yourself. 
uh, study after study has found that when you have a basket, you buy more stuff yep. just because you have the extra room. And then the cart, the cart is maybe the most diabolical instrument in the entire grocery store. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It is designed to slow you down. Studies have found that if you have a larger cart, you will spend more money by buying more stuff. So they make the carts bigger. Yeah, and I mean, think about it. Like when you have a cart, you are not gonna run around the store like some kind of jerk knocking people down. When you don't have a cart, you feel a little more comfortable like getting in and out and, and going around people a little faster. Sure. Plus, uh, just to maximize the psychological manipulation, Chuck. Yeah. They have, in very frequently, shorter spaced floor tiles. So when you do have a cart and you're browsing very slowly, you don't think you are because the click and the clack from going over the tiles is happening more frequently, making you think that you're going faster. That is hard to believe. This is what you're up against, just walking yeah. into the grocery store. Yeah, a lot of thought has gone into uh, keeping you there as long as possible and sending you down the aisles where the most expensive uh, and unhealthiest food lies. Yeah, but now you know. And now that you understand how to navigate the grocery store, we think you'll probably save a few bucks. Yeah, so get out your headphones, uh, put in, put on some, uh, what kind of music would you recommend? Death metal? Probably, Yeah. something fast. Yeah, that'll get you in another real quick. Make a basket out of your shirt. Yeah, and uh, have your game plan, have your list, maybe have some food in your stomach, mm -hmm. and good luck. Good luck. <laughs>